guys welcome back to Cindy's paradise today for today's video we are going to be doing a back to school haul of everything i got for school school is back for me for all district 12 schools tomorrow is our big day district 12 students yes it's back and <laughs> um i'm going back to school and i am going to middle school and this is my first this is going to be my first year in middle school lots of stuff to learn lots of s new new teachers new environment new t everything so i'm gonna have to adapt if you guys are going back to school tomorrow too, you got this. Go girl and boys, you got this. You can do it and you can survive this sixth grade year. But without further ado, let's get started with this video. All right guys, so the first thing from my back to school haul is, of course, my backpack. And I've already put some little keychains on here already. This is um, a locket from my grandpa. Um, he passed away. Um, this it's my backpack. It's by Adidas. It's my favorite color, purple. It's definitely a Rapunzel shade. It's reminding me. It's giving. It's giving Rapunzel vibes. Okay, but. Uh, Rapunzel Purple it's from Adidas and I love it it's very roomy and spacey and it fits a lot of stuff look at this like it's so deep like my whole hand could fit in this big pocket right here and it has so many pockets I love it so we have our book bag first the next thing that we have is this pencil case good time and i got this last year like mid for fifth grade because um i wanted a pencil case to keep all my pencils in and i had one um but it was like overflowing with pencils and it was like i think it was a plastic one and it was overflowing with pencils and i needed something better so here it is and I already have some stuff in here, so I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, so I have some pencils in here. Okay. I have some, I have an eraser in here. Um, a wet pencil um eraser in here i have some extra lead even though i'm not even sure like if it's the right lead for my pencil it's my mechanical pencils but we'll see um i'm bringing two of each so i have two highlighters sharpie highlighters they are dunkin donut colors as you can tell orange and pink so yeah and then i have two pens two black pens two regular black pens by paper bait you know paper bait we have it all the school supplies and stuff and they're so good such good quality paper bait and they're these regular black pens and i brought two of those oh Then I also have these colorful pens by Paper Paint. They're they are these like little bulky pens, whatever you could write. I'm probably just gonna be using these to write in my student planner, which I'm getting there. Like trust me, you guys are gonna be amazed when you guys see my student planner. Like I decorated it and stuff, drew drew on it. It's gonna you guys are gonna be starstruck. I have. A blue one and a brown one yeah yes 
And then to the actual pencil case, I have two regular wooden pencils. Now, you guys are probably wondering, I thought you had mechanical pencils. I'm not bringing that whole pack of mechanical pencils because I can see now people are going to be asking me, Oh, Sydney, can I have a pencil? Oh, no, come prepared. You should have came prepared. I could see if you need a pencil here and there, but don't be asking me every day. Don't come to school not prepared on purpose because you know I got pencils in here. No, be prepared. I'm not going to be loaning you all my stuff. And then what I do not like is that sometimes they'll ask you if, like, kids will ask you oh Sydney can I borrow a pencil and then not give it back like technically you're stealing from me because I let you use a pencil I trusted you trusted you with one of my pencils and you did not give it back so I don't think I'm gonna be loaning as much as I used to because I have lost a lot of stuff due to students trying to steal from me um, I have this purple Sharpie, um, I think I got it from, I don't even know where I got this from, um, also, every single thing that I get, that I get from here is from Amazon, get, that I show in here, actually, guys, my nerves are, like, wreck right now I'm like I'm a nervous wreck right now because like one day away and I'm nervous because like I said it's a new environment and everything so my nerves are like Ugh. so if I jumble up my words in this video do not mind me um so I got this sharpie I think I got it from my classroom last year I don't know I don't know I forgot but it's purple it's my favorite color it's one of my favorite colors um and I have this these other two regular wooden pencils um they're basing based on the Martin Luther King Jr. speech um I have a dream speech I got these for my dad my dad um my dad went to Atlanta, Georgia, and he went to Martin Luther King Jr.'s house. Can y'all believe that? He went to Martin Luther King Jr.'s house, and they had, like, souvenirs in there, and including these pencils, and he gave them to me. So, they have the written words of the, um, I have a dream speech, at least on this one, this blue one. I don't know what this thing says. I think it's like a little quote on the on the on the pencil. I have a little extra eraser cuz I don't know why my best one of my best friends gave it to me from last year. Ava, I love you girl if you're watching this. I love you. But um yeah, she gave me this eraser. Keep an extra eraser in your thing cuz you never know. Who's gonna be trying to steal and stuff? Trust me. I have this pen, pencil. This. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm jumbling up my words way too much. I have this pen, and it's. <laughs> I borrowed it. I borrowed it from Amara, my best friend, and <laughs> I forgot to give it back to her. But. She let me keep it, and I still have it. And just in case we are not in the same classes, I will have a memory of her in my bag every single time I open up my pencil case. So, yes. Okay, so here's the exciting part. Mechanical pencils. I only took two because, like I said, people be trying to steal, and that's definitely not happening. I said that I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to loan myself as much as I used to, but I'm a generous person. I'll be feeling bad for these people, so sometimes I just give in, but I need to stop doing that. Just this pen that I got from this, I went to an open house. 
um, I went to an open house, Mount Hall 5, the school that did it except me. I don't know, like. My whole five. Why you did accept me? Why? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I got I went to the open house and I got um this pen from them. So keeping that. <laughs> um um then I have a pencil sharpener. That's another thing that I can't like keep up with for some reason because I don't know. Sometimes I drop it on the floor and I don't know, like, I just lose it one day. I look in my pe pencil case and it's not there. But that is all that's in my pencil case. Next, I have notebooks. Uh, keep all my classes organized and in check. Um, <laughs> My mom actually got mad at me yesterday. Cause I was, cause she said, um, not, she wasn't expecting me to write on them yet, but cause like, I don't know, it's a different school and different grades. So I don't know how middle school names their classes. Cause before I used to be reading, now it's ELA, oh, it's ELA, I, um, now it's algebra, algebra. So I don't know, I just went with what I knew and she got bad. <laughs> but it is what it is. I have some whiteout tape. So if I make any mistakes, I could just use whiteout. But I have some notebooks for my classes to keep my classes organized. I have like seven of these, but I'm just taking four for now. Cause I don't know how many classes I'm gonna be having. And, yeah. So, notebooks. And then, I have paper. So, my mom also got mad at me for this. Because I wrote paper on the top. But, it's like, paper. And, but then, at the same time, it has, like, fold, folders in it. Like, folder. Like, paper. Wide rule paper. And then, folder. For like classes and stuff it has like three four four folders in here in total so i don't know what this piece of cardboard is for in here but i don't know i'm not going to take it off so i just have some paper it's almost like a binder but it has like i don't know it's like a binder similar but it's not it's almost like a folder in some sort then I also I just noticed that my pencil case and this both have both say good time good times so I got this little don't worry guys I'm not one of those kids I'm not one of those preteens that try to be Marilyn Monroe already putting on makeup when they don't even need it they it, I'm not one of those pick me girls okay so I have it looks like a makeup palette but guess what the secret is it's like it holds post-its and I got this out of a prize box for my teacher and I answered a quiz one time we were taking a quiz or something. I don't know what we were doing, but I was able to pick out of the prize box and I picked this. It is so good. It's so nice. I'm definitely probably gonna be needing to to like use a lot of post-its in middle school because you have to keep track of stuff. So yeah, I have like a few post-its in here, different colors, and it's cute. Alright guys, so remember when I told you you guys are going to be starstruck by my student planner? Drum roll please! Ta-da! So, matter of fact, this is not from Amazon. 
This is from Marshalls, my local Marshalls. There's a Marshalls right there. And my mom one day, she bought me, brought home a student planner. And it says a lot can happen in a year. 2024 at the bottom. And then like it came with like these stickers inside like like these stickers like they have sticker sheets and you know sorry guys it smells like plastic that's why i'm going like this um i have stickers and then to label like uh your important dates and with like and make it fun um what attracts me to it though is that they have like these really month cute monthly quotes so like whenever you start like a new month so like let's just say like september i'm gonna be using the september side so when i, I use go into september it says think big positive and smart and it has like throughout the month like you get to see like have like positive notes in there and you know it's really cute you get calendar you know it's awesome like I love this like this is like a really good organizer and I'm very excited to use it honestly and have a little bit of stickers in the back covering the price i have some stickers in the back i didn't overload my thing with stickers you got some motivational stickers you got this a heart and what does it say kindness is golden because these kids these days they be trying to be those cool cool popular girls and they don't realize they're hurting people's feelings so be kind, guys. Be kind. Because I know that if you use kindness, you're going to get somewhere. Last thing for this video. I also got this from Marshalls. I just went to Marshalls yesterday. And I got this little pouch because... I'm going to use it as an emergency kit pouch because I have some emergencies, okay, to be aware of. And you never know when, you know, girls, puberty, you need a lot of stuff. So, I didn't put everything in here yet, but I'm going to add two more things. I need to add an extra lip balm and some hand lotion, definitely, so I, my hands aren't ashy in the day. This pad pouch kind of looks dirty. It's okay. Nobody's going to be looking in my backpack anyway, looking in my business. This little unicorn pouch that I got for my cousin one year. Um, it was actually very useful in the end because, look. So, I'm going to keep, like, my private pads in here so that people won't be looking at me like, Ooh, why she got it so wide open like that so yeah gotta sometimes you gotta keep the private stuff private because people they don't know how to contain themselves <laughs> some bandages you know like if you get a little paper cut from all that writing you get a little paper cut you know slap a band-aid on it keep going so i pack guys the video cap cut off um so a little bandage some bandages i pack four of them and two masks because you never know what is gonna happen and you need masks covid is starting to come creep back up on us again and i'm gonna start wearing my mask again because i'm not trying to get the covid because i've got it before and it was horrible so that's i'm gonna put some lip balm in there and some lotion and call it the day what do i have in here oh and then in here i have this like little thing to hook onto your mask i'm gonna show you guys how it works all right guys so you basically take your mask 
put it on like regular regularly oh i can't breathe i have um, i haven't worn a mask in a long time so i have to adapt to it again um so mask right you take the chain like this little thing right here open it up and you ah my braid you latch it onto the like little thing right here and then you do the same on the other side like this It's just another way to make your mask stylish. And then there you go. I think you could pull it back like that. Take off. There you go, you got a little style right there on your mask. And I got this from my bestie Amara again. <laughs> she gives me so many good stuff. She gives me so she cares for me so much. She's my best friend. And forever. And she gave me this. She gave like the whole class one of these, but she gave me the most. So Oh, I love you, Amara. Um, so I'm keeping this in here because you never know what's going to happen. And I like to keep my bestie close to me in my heart. That's how I'm going to do it. Oh, that feels so good because I haven't worn a mask since 2020. So, well, actually, not really because what, like when I'm sick in the winter time or fall, Sometimes I have really bad allergies and I don't want everybody looking up in my nose, seeing snot dripping down my, mm -mm. so I wear a mask when I don't feel good. This school year, I'm going to be str probably going to be struggling because I get really bad what I do. My allergies are super annoying and we have to come to school unless we get detention. So I have to come to school and I like kind of, it was, they, they were kind of lenient on me in my old school. They let it slide, but middle school is different. So we have to follow the rules. And so if we come, we don't come, we're absent and we come back the next day without a doctor's note, we were done like we have to go to the the detention they call it the reflection room to tell to explain why you didn't come to school that day so i'm not planning on going there no time soon so i guess i'm gonna have to fight for a doctor's note because these days these urgent cares don't be like they 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 have a problem with writing you up a doctor's note like why so that is it for this video guys make sure you like share and subscribe hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry i haven't been posting like really all summer i've been super busy doing stuff and like my videos i've tried to record and they have just not come, come they have just not came out good like Every single time I try to film a video, somebody just bursts into the room. Either that or, like, it's just a total, like, it's just a total fail. Like, I can't, like, even edit it right. It's hard being a YouTuber sometimes, but I'm going to keep trying. Because if the Inquisitor Master can do it, I can do it. So... Alright guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!